Now, uh, Google Glass, of course, is probably the most talked about wearable here at uh, the show, but ultimately there's something else that's pretty interesting that we're taking a look at. Now, Recon Instruments, we've seen them before with augmented reality in uh, ski goggles, but they've got a new product that they're launching here. This is called uh, the Jet, and I'm actually going to have to take off my glass to put this on. This is uh, an Android-powered augmented reality display, much like glass, except as you can see, the display is actually down here below. It's got a dual core processor on board and it's packed with sensors, much more so than glass. We've got an accelerometer, we've got GPS, and we've actually got AMP and Bluetooth as well on here, so you can connect to wireless sensors, things like cadence sensors, power meters if you're a cyclist, heart rate monitors, you can get all that information piped into your jet headset here, and that can be stored on board in storage and pumped into apps. Uh, Recon is actually launching an SDK here as well. This is going to be an extension of the SDK they've already got uh, for their goggles already, which you can use to develop your apps and run on here. So if you're a cyclist, you can imagine something like Strava, which is a very popular app for tracking your rides, which will be including uh, cadence and heart rate and power and everything else on top of your GPS location, so you can race your friends uh, as you're wearing the glasses. Now, the controls on here are somewhat similar to glass, and there's a touchscreen here. It's an optical sensor, a lot like if you're familiar with the older Blackberries uh, that had the, the kind of replacement for the trackball. It's right here. So you can use that to swipe forward and backward to control. Uh, unfortunately, there's no mirroring, so I can't show you what the interface looks like, but right now it's a very simple uh, Android-like UI. You kind of push in the button to select things. You can swipe around. Uh, I can see a compass on here. I can see a stopwatch on here. Uh, and there are a couple of demo apps on here as well. Obviously, this is going to be something that's going to require some support from developers before it gets to be really exciting. But the fact that it's got so many sensors built in and so much connectivity is definitely something that I can see athletes getting very excited about. I'm certainly a little bit excited about it. Uh, the plan is for this to be releasing sometime before the end of the year, and it will be priced at somewhere around four to six hundred dollars, so quite a bit less than the current version of Google Glass, but still uh, fairly expensive. So again, this is the Recon Jet at Google I/O 2013.